guys, I'm taking the time to make this video to apologize 500 times for being MIA. I have had a really dramatic a uh, couple of weeks that um, I just was not in the mood to make any videos. I was not, um, I don't know, it was just kind of, it was rough for me, so I didn't want to make videos. I knew I was just going to be down in my videos, so I just didn't make any, and I really want to apologize now for not doing that. But I'm back now, you guys don't have to worry, I'm back, I'm fine, you guys don't need to ask what happened, everything's fine, uh, but yeah, so everything's good. We are good. Okay, so this is a video I'm wanting to tell you guys that Walmart now has a new line. Now, you guys are already going to know this line, or most of you will. Um, if you go to, I forget what the website was, but um, I'll post a link in the sidebar. But there's a website where it sells a lot of this product, and I've only seen it online. I've yet to have ever seen it in drugstores or at Ulta or anything. And I saw it at Walmart yesterday, and I freaked out. Or it wasn't yesterday, it was the other day. But I just want to show you the items I got and let you guys know what I think about them and whether you should buy them or not. So, the line that I'm talking about is actually hard candy. I freaked out when I saw this line. I was like, oh my gosh, the packaging just completely caught my eye. I stood in the aisle where hard candy was for like 50 minutes trying to decide what I was going to buy. And I didn't buy a whole lot because I wasn't sure how the line works. So I wanted to take it a little bit at a time. And finally, I just picked a couple items that I knew um, I would like to try. So these were the items I bought. I actually bought this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Tinted Moisturizer, and it's got SPF 15. Um, it says it goes on sheer to enhance your natural complexion, natural satin finish, plus protective SPF 15. And it actually says, we love our animal friends. We do not test products on them, which a huge plus for a lot of people when they don't test their products on animals. And it came in this box right here. And I kept the packaging in case I wanted to return it. And I've used this and I have fallen in love. I'm going to have a new foundation routine for you guys and this is definitely going to be in it. I definitely recommend this product. Uh, the only problem is, is that when you first apply it, your face will be so shiny looking. You will look so just shiny. Not shimmery, but shiny as in like oily. So that was the downfall at first. I was like, oh, I hate this product. But really, just give it five minutes and it will completely soak into your skin. It's got the moisturizer in it. You guys know when you put on moisturizer, your face is really like just shiny after. So, um, it will make your face shiny at first, but it is a tinted moisturizer. So do keep that in mind. Um, I got mine in 140 tan. A lot of you guys have been asking what my MAC color is. Um, and I'm actually in W25. And I use tan in this. I also use tan in my other foundation. Um, the uh, one night I showed you guys the Super Stay makeup from Maybelline. I use tan in that too, so I really love it. It gives me a great color. It, it's amazing. I'll talk more about it when I do my foundation routine for you guys, though. Okay, the next thing that I got was this concealer pack, and I think it's Makeup Forever. They have the, um, I think it's a quad, I don't know, but it's got the, I think it's four, it might be four or five, different um, concealers, and it's got the different colors just like this does, so I was like, oh my gosh, I have to buy this. Well, I tried it. And I was not a fan. I can't say that it's awful, but like the green turned my face green. Um, the yellow kind of lightened up my under eye circles, but I've had better. Let's put it that way. I've definitely had better. Maybe I just don't know how to use it, but I think I'm going to return it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, I might not have given it a long enough time though, but so I'm not going to completely say don't buy it, but as far as right now, I'm not a fan and Really, I don't feel like putting any more effort into it. So that's kind of my review on this. And it's called the um, Nobody's Perfect Concealer Palette. And it's got a lot of the different colors that you would need. And I do like that, but I don't know. It just, I don't, I don't know. I feel turned off by it. Um, the next thing that I got was this Hard Candy Ginormous Lash. They had um, a curling mascara, they had a volumizing, they had a lengthening, and I think they had, oh, and they had, like, color mascara, like, different colors, like, blue, green, and all that, and I always go for volumizing mascara, so I pick this up. Um, of course, the packaging is adorable, just like everything else that they sell. Um, this is the wand. I was kind of confused why a volumizing wand was looking like this, but whatever um i tried it and when i first put it on i was like i love this stuff it is so good i love it well i kind of noticed it didn't keep a curl like not even for like five to ten minutes it did not keep a curl that even that long like my eyelashes were nice and up and then all of a sudden fell down so this was another turn off the packaging is adorable um it does make it look really pretty right at first but then it just falls and doesn't look that good so again i don't recommend this one but um maybe if you guys know a better um, way of applying it. Maybe I'll try it that way, but as far as what I did, I was not a fan of it, and I got this in blackout. 
Okay, finally, I did save the best for last. I got this Plexigloss Glossy Lip Shine from Hard Candy, and I got it in 183 Nude. I tried ripping the sticker off, but I knew I was going to make this video, so I kept it on, but now I can rip it off. Um, but anyways, I love this lip gloss. I plan on going back. When I return these, I plan on buying every single color in this. Um, I love it. I have it on my lips right now. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but... It's not so much the color that I like, it's because it, it is very sheer. Well, I think it's sheer, but it says that, like, it says when you buy it that it's not sheer at all. It actually has a lot of color and pigmented, but I did buy it in nude, so maybe that's why I don't see a lot of color. And this is the only one I bought. Um, what I like about this, though, is that it's not sticky at all whatsoever. Uh, when it's on my lips, I don't feel like there's just a big glob on my lips. I just feel like it's natural lips, and I adore the smell. I've been noticing that I'm really into, like, our vanilla smells on my lips lately, and this has that. This is like a vanilla kind of, I don't know how to explain it. But it makes me want to eat it because it smells so, so, so good. It's like vanilla and just, oh my gosh, I can't tell you. It's so good. So this is a really good lip gloss. I love it. Um, it's just, I really love it. I really recommend it. It's so awesome. It smells good. It works well. I love it. So this was just going to be a really quick video for you guys just so I could tell you guys why I was in my A and let you guys know that I am coming back. I will be making vlogs for you guys. I do have a journey that I'm taking this weekend, so I will bring you guys along with me with that. Um, for a lot of you guys, I've been doing blog TV a lot. Even though I wasn't making videos, I still was going on blog TV, but not a lot of you guys were coming in. It was mostly people just from blog TV that I've made friends with who have been coming in. So hopefully um, my new friends that I made on blog TV are now watching my videos. Videos. Hey guys, and yeah, so I'm really 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 sorry again for being in my A. Don't think I forgot about you guys I just I don't know you guys can still tell now that I'm still a little stressed out, but I'm gonna get back into the swing of things um, Please don't ask you know what happened, you know any of that stuff I just don't feel like talking about it. It's not like it's a really big deal It's just I take everything to heart and I I really do I take everything to heart I, I hate when I hurt people I hate when people hurt me and it, it was just kind of a weird situation. So anyways, it's all over. It's all done. So please don't bring it up. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.